have the new H1 duck truck by Hyperback Technologies. And it's considerably different than other duck trucks that are currently on the market. Uh, one of the key differences right now is that this is a 12 foot truck. Even though it looks like it's 14 feet long, it's actually only 12 feet. And the reason that's such a big deal is that a 12 foot box can fit on a 7 foot cab to axle truck nice and easy. So one of the key changes with this is in the past you had to run big trucks and they're even getting bigger with freight liners and uh, Ford, you know, 450s, 550s and they're getting just way out of line and too big and too expensive. Then you had to run diesel and this truck can be any, pretty much any chassis can run on this truck because it's 12 feet long. The other key advantage is that it's made out of aluminum. The whole box is aluminum with all the key integral components still made from steel. So your fan, fan blade, all the important stuff is steel. But the box itself is actually aluminum. And aluminum has some of its advantages. First one is it doesn't rust. So in five years from now, you don't have to worry this thing isn't going to be all rusted out like a lot of duck trucks are. Second, because it's so light, it uses a lot less fuel to get around. So in the past, you might have spent thousands you know, on f your fuel bill. Here, now you're going to be spending hundreds uh, because it is so much lighter. And also, because it's so much lighter, there's a lot less load on the chassis. So you, you don't have as much wear and tear on your tires, your brakes, your transmission, your clutch, and all the things that wear out a chassis quickly. It's usually from the weight of the truck. And so aluminum, much lighter, every bit as strong as steel. It's got a powder coated finish so corrosion isn't a problem and it's powder coated on the inside and the outside. Also the powder coat is double the thickness of paint so it's very very scratch resistant and we can still do paint if you want but we prefer powder coat. Next thing is storage space. Even though it's a 12 foot truck we have almost the same if not more storage than a traditional 14 foot truck. So here we've got our intake, our engine bay which we'll go over in a sec and then we've got our clean up pods. If you go around the side here, you can have storage, you can have doors in the back, like a traditional duck truck, that's an option as well. But here you've got all the storage space. You got a space that's five feet by almost five feet high and seven and a half feet wide. So you can line that whole thing with shelving. You've also got storage space here. That can actually hold one of our hyperback portable vacuums, so you can actually put a portable vacuum in here and take it with you on the job site. So you can also put portables in the back. And then we've also got space you can put shelving all along here above the tank, above the receiver tank. So tremendous amount of storage, a lot more storage than probably what your, your typical duck truck will do. One of the changes that we've made is that you can have, have your intake come off the front or you can also have your intake come off the back of the truck and have your hose storage in the back. Here we've got hose storage in the front with some spiral tubes holding our hose. Our intake which is made out of steel and the intake goes straight across to the other side so you can hook on the either side of the truck. And with this hose storage we, we're actually, we can put more steel pipes on the top. We can hold up to 180 feet of hose storage in this compartment. Um, there is another design which we can show you later, but we also have another design where the power plant gets turned around and you can actually hook your hose up to the back of the truck and you have your hose storage in the back. So that's one of the changes with this new one. Of course, that's our fan and power plant. I'll touch on the engine drive system in a minute, but first I just want to show you our bag system. Right now we've got our fan all made out of steel our controls, but this is where all the debris goes. So we don't have the traditional debris storage anymore where it all just blows in a big open bay and then you gotta shovel it out at the end of the day. Right now, all, of, all the debris blows up into this chase, into this duct, and it all drops down into some nice clean little pods. So all your debris blow, blows to the back, drops down these pods, and you can actually put garbage bags in these things if you wanted to, or you can just lift them out. And so now you're not carrying around 800 pounds of your customer's dirt every time, you know, for six months on end. And keep in mind that 800 pounds adds weight to your truck and you're spending a lot of money in fuel. And it just didn't make sense anymore to carry around your customer's dirt for six months out of the year. Why not have a couple little storage bins and change these once a month and uh, have all your debris drop in these bins, it's much cleaner. And it also eliminates two feet of space off your duck truck. The other key changes we've made is, I'll show you in a second, but up on top of the truck we only have one bag door and that one bag is running down one side of the truck. And what that does is it leaves the, the roof open for your ladder rack on the other side. 
which is a lot nicer. So now you don't have to take your ladders off if you've got heavy ladders on your roof, on your bag doors. So you get independent dedicated ladder rack and you get independent dedicated bag doors on the top. Mm -hmm.